Hi everyone, so The Seven Pillars of Wisdom is the name of the book that T.E. Lawrence or Lawrence of Arabia wrote to describe its odyssey during the First World War in the Middle East. So long story short is the story of an Englishman in the desert who will lead one of the most successful guerrilla in human warfare on the top of its camels. So Lawrence is one of the most iconic figures of the Great War and he became more than just man, he became a legend with its book and of course with the film Lawrence of Arabia which I'm ashamed to say that I've never seen. So he's a legendary figure but there's something sad and tragic about him and I'm not very sure why, maybe, maybe it's just a personal impression you know. I'd also like to send you a more personal message for this video, but I'll do it at the end of the video so as not to interfere. So let's go! And before they go, first of all, magnificent intro. Seriously, guys, they are already giving me shivers. They actually went to the Sahara Desert to film the clip in particularly difficult and testing conditions. I've heard Jog saying that he had the feeling that staying there for a few hours could kill him, which also leaves us to imagine how things were for T.E. Lawrence as an Englishman to live all these years in the desert. So uh, when Lawrence enlisted, he was posted to Cairo where he worked for British military intelligence. He had an excellent knowledge of the Arabs, which made him an ideal liaison officer between the Brits and the Arab forces. In June 1916, he was sent to the desert, first to report on the activity on the Arab nationalist movements against the Ottomans and then to coordinate them to serve the British interest. And he was to do much more than that after that. So uh, sabotage, uh, I think we all have that iconic image um, from the movie in our minds of Lawrence attacking a train. That's the guerrilla warfare that he was going to wage, demolishing communications and logistics lines to cripple the enemy. Hunters 
side by side right there so uh, he obtained their acceptance and more than that Lawrence wore Arab costume road cameras adopting many local customs and some became very close friend to the Prince Faisal I think he was the Prince of the Mecca um, or something like that so, sorry for my ignorance towards the end of the war he tried unsuccessfully to convince his superiors to an independent Arab kingdom which he was really really invested into and uh, which by the way had been vaguely promised to the Arab rebels so he was deeply deeply committed to the cause on a very personal level uh, sorry to interrupt again, but demolishes the bridges to dust. To give you an idea of the man's courage, he was apprehended by the Turks in Dera while on the reconnaissance mission disguised as an Arab, he was conducting himself this kind of very dangerous missions. It does not to seem to have been recognized because there was a price on his head. The governor of Dera is said to have inflicting very harsh treatment on him, including sexual abuse. But Lawrence still managed to escape. Deception or treason, he will defend the promises made to Arab leaders, including so Prince Faisal, to create an independent Arab state. But at the end, at the Treaty of Sèvres, so the treaty that concluded uh, the Great War on the Turkish front, nothing was respected and the region was divided between French and British spheres of influence. I think that the word colony would be uh, more accurate. So it is indeed kind of a betrayal. <laughs> Okay, magnificent. And I did not mention that, but we had an indie of Arabia as indie Nidal himself was with Sabaton to shoot this footage. So I wanted to conclude with a few words. So the seven pillars of wisdom are dedicated to SA with 
a poem beginning with I loved you and I quote so I loved you so I drew these tides of men into my hands and wrote my will across the sky and in stars to earn you freedom the seven pillared worthy house that your eyes might be shining for me when I came. The identity of SA had never been clarified. It has been assumed that these initials correspond to a man, a woman, a nation or a combination of the above. Uh, S.A. could be someone named Selim Ahmed, nicknamed Dahoum, a young Arab who worked with, with Lawrence. I was going to say Indy, but he worked with Lawrence and they were very, very close. But this is by no means certain. Dahoum died of typhus in 1918. Uh, and to conclude uh, with the more personal note, this is the first video I've made after reaching the 1000 subscriber milestone. They say that that's a very important milestone for a YouTuber. For me, it's more a chance to say 1000. Thank you, guys. Sabaton is what gave birth to this channel and it's the symbol of what I want to do here. It's a mix between history, of course, small stories, emotions and exchanges. So I really wanted to seize the occasion to thank you for all the positivity and the love you send me week after week. It fills my little froggy heart with a lot of positive energy. Thank you. Thanks for watching and see you very soon. Bye.